Hello everyone. I'm going to uh, demonstrate how we can configure WSO2 with uh, RabbitMQ. So in this diagram, uh, it shows a fire and forget integration pattern. So for, to implement this integration pattern, we need uh, two services. So we'll be implementing a publisher service in micro integrator to collect a message from a client and publish into RabbitMQ and another a service called consumer to consume the message and do further processing uh, to implement this solution uh, we will need few tools we will need to download micro integrator from the wso2 website and we will need uh, integration studio to implement the code so we can download it from this uh, web page and uh, rabbitmq i'm going to use a docker container let's go and uh, create the docker container first Okay, I am uh, exposing uh, 5672 and 15672 ports uh, to communicate uh, RabbitMQ with WSO2 micro integrator server. My uh, default password is password. Okay, my RabbitMQ uh, is now up and running. Now uh, I will have to configure micro integrator uh, with uh, RabbitMQ. Uh, server so i will have to uh, provide uh, connection details in the deployment toml file uh, deployment toml file is uh, inside the wso2 uh, mi distribution folder and inside the conf fold you can find deployment toml so we will need to uncomment few lines and update the username password and uh, host name port name correctly with RabbitMQ. So I will first uncomment RabbitMQ sender, sender block. My username password is correctly updated. I will keep the messages. I'm uncommenting the RabbitMQ listener block. Details are correct. I will save the deployment terminal and now I'm going to uh, start the micro integrator. To start the micro integrator in the terminal, we need to navigate to the WS2MI distribution folder and inside uh, the distribution we can find pin folder and we can run start the micro integrator like this. Okay, now I can see uh, micro integrator is correctly uh, started and also the RabbitMQ configuration is uh, correctly initiated. So uh, now let's move uh, to the uh, integration studio to implement the solution. I will create integration project and I'll put the project name as API connects v1. RabbitMQ. I will need ESP configs and composite exporter. Okay, uh, so both the modules are now created. Uh, first step is to create the publisher service. So my publisher service is a, a REST API. So I will create a REST API. I can define the name here. Uh, and the context is publish and save it. Uh, so uh, I will be executing this service as a post uh, method. So I will untick the get method and select port post method. Uh, I will add a log message first uh, in the beginning of this flow to ensure that my uh, my uh, service is correctly invoked so i will let log level as full to print the payload details in the terminal and also a custom message i will add a custom message saying publisher service not okay 
now uh, since this api will not wait for any uh, response from the backend we will need to uh, implement a custom uh, response payload uh, after uh, calling the rabbitmq so uh, we will need a call mediate uh, first of all we need to add a property to uh, define that this is out only flow so i will select out only from the list and the value should be true okay now let's add the call mediate to call the endpoint and the endpoint is a address endpoint so uh, we need to define some uh, rabbit mq connection details in the address endpoint so i have already defined uh, in my vs code so i will copy paste it go to the source view and replace this address element from the one i'm going to replacing it so uh, i can see the connection factory host name port username and password so my rabbit mq q will be transactions transactions uh, routing key is trans exchange name is transaction ex so this is how i define my uh, rabbit mq details in the publisher service now uh, i need to implement uh, i think uh, the, my endpoint was not correctly configured so i will put it again okay now let's go to design view now i i'm going to add the payload factory payload factory to implement the custom response so my response payload is a json payload this is my custom message and i will have to add a respond mediate at the end to respond back to the client okay i think we have correctly implemented the publisher service now i'm going to implement the second service uh, as a proxy service so let's go and create the consumer service here so i don't need http and http transports i need rabbitmq to transport so i will select rabbitmq and i'm defining my name here Uh, now again I will let the look at the beginning I will let a custom log message saying consumer service invoke so these uh, log messages will be printed in the terminal I will add another uh, property to extract some details from the payload so uh, my payload will have a transaction id so i'm uh, and to extract that from the payload so value type should be expression and payload is a json payload so this is how we extract uh, values from json payload Now, now let's add uh, another property to define this is out only flow because we are not re responding back to the client. Select as out only from this list, and the value is true. And uh, 
we're going to drop this message this uh, uh this is the end of our flow uh now uh, we will need some additional parameters to uh, connect with RabbitMQ listener so uh these are the additional parameters we need Go and check what are the additional parameters so we have to define the exchange name as transaction ex and the queue name as transactions and the connection factory this connection factory name was uh, defined in the deployment toml uh, at the beginning okay i think now we have implemented the proxy service as well our consumer service correctly now we will need to deploy it into the micro integrator server to uh, deploy it before we need to uh, select the artifacts uh, that should be bundled together so i have selected two artifacts publisher and consumer and then i'm going to export it to the micro integrator distribution folder so i have to select the uh, correct location the correct location to uh, deploy the car app uh, is inside the WSO2MI distribution. We can see a repository folder here. There uh, we can see deployments folder and then server. Inside that we can see carbon apps. So there uh, in this location, to this location we need to deploy our carbon app. Okay. Done. So uh, let's go and check the terminal logs. Okay, now I can see my uh, application is correctly deployed into the micro integrator server. Uh, let's uh, quickly go to the RabbitMQ management console and see uh, what's happening there. So I can see the transactions queue is created and exchange is also created. Okay, uh, now let's. Uh, I execute my service so uh, this is my uh, service URL and the context is publish so I am uh, executing this service with this payload I have transaction ID and status so once uh, this uh, API is successfully executed I, I should see two log lines with the publisher uh, invoked successful uh, message log message and uh, uh, the other message with uh, consumer uh, invoked and the transaction ID. So let's go and execute this. Okay, now I received the successful response with the 200 status code and the message I defined inside the uh, publish API. So let's go and check the terminal logs. So I can see uh, my first log is appeared as publisher service invoked and the payload is also uh, printed and the second uh, log I can see consumer service is invoked and transaction ID. So uh, this concludes our uh, full flow of uh, publisher and consumer in this uh, fire and forget uh, use case. Uh, so this way we can implement uh, more advanced integration pattern as well using this WSO2 and RabbitMQ uh, technologies. Thank you.